purpose, the purpose of screening is to identify who needs help. The top part of the graphic are the skills that students have to acquire. The names of the Acadians reading measures are the indicators. And along the bottom of this graphic is the timeline and the benchmark goals in the little circles. Screening is helping us to know who is at risk. And that's an important first step. So if you want to think about, just to really flood you with analogies, think about these skills as the cakes. Think about these indicators as the toothpicks. The quick screening on is the cake done baking or not? Who's at risk? That's the question when you do universal screening. Three times a year, all students with consistent indicators, right? So how do we know who's at risk? That's what the benchmark goal does. There are three sets of terms that we can use to talk about students' performance on Acadian's reading. Students can either score at or above benchmark, below benchmark, or well below benchmark. And those three score categories help us know about the amount of instruction and the type of instruction that is likely to be needed for a student to catch up, to reduce their risk. So we want to use those three sets of terms to talk about scores. Sometimes I hear people talk about intensive students, or they talk about green students, right? They use the color coding. And I just want to take you back to that graphic of the three-tier model and get your minds thinking about the instruction and the tiers of support as being you know, the, the red, yellow, and green components there. When we talk about student performance, we are going to use those terms at or above benchmark, below benchmark, or well below benchmark. Because that keeps us focused on what are we going to do about it. Those three score categories are defined by odds of future reading health. A student who scores at or above benchmark, overall in general, has an 80 to 90% chance of being a reader at the end of first grade. That's what it means to score at or above benchmark. The benchmark goal itself is the lowest acceptable score. This takes some repetition and some reminding. I know some of you have been using Acadian's reading for many, many years. But it doesn't hurt to remember and remind everybody you work with that the benchmark goal is designed to be the lowest level of OK. So find one of those post-it notes. And I want you to write that on a post-it note and stick it on the front cover of your spiral book. The benchmark goal is the lowest level of OK. It doesn't mean you've arrived. It doesn't mean whew, everything's great for you. You don't need any instructional support. If you score at the benchmark goal, it means you are hanging on by your fingernails. You're treading water and only your nose is above the water. That's what it means to score at the benchmark goal. The number that becomes the benchmark goal is the score at which the odds of being a reader in the future are about 80 to 90%.